District of Columbia CDL Tanker Vehicles Test. Question 1. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 2. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 3 you should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 4. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 5. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 6. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping, loading and unloading. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 7. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 8. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Answer. Always. Question 9. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers. Especially when you are going uphill or downhill, starting or stopping, driving against the wind. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 10 Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement, uneven expansion, extreme weight. Answer Liquid movement.
Question 11. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The length of your vehicle. The distance you can see ahead. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 12. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve. Then, as you go through it, speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 13. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 14. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 15. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer. Use control door stab braking. Question 16. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 17. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 18. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 19. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight. Question 20. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the legal weight limits. 
the amount the liquid will expand in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 21. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 22. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 23. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Loading and unloading Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 24. How would you expect the truck with the cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 25 Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Barriers Bulkheads Baffles Answer Baffles Question 26. Altage means How fast the liquid tanks drain Allowance for expansion of liquid Liquid weight Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 27. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 28. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 29. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. 
Question 30. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 31. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 32. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Never. Answer. Always. Question 33. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are loading and unloading, hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 34. Side to side surge can cause. Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. A rollover. Answer. A rollover. Question 35. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 36 which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 37. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 38. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 39. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer 
Use control door stab braking. Question 40. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Liquid movement. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 41. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 42. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Always. Answer. Always. Question 43. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are going uphill or downhill, driving against the wind, starting or stopping. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 44. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount the liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 45. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Baffles Barriers Bulkheads Answer Baffles Question 46. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Air to fuel ratio Water content Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 47. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 48. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 49 You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are Driving against the wind 
starting or stopping, going uphill or downhill. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 50. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are loading and unloading, hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 51. When you unload a smaller tank or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your water content, distribution of weight, air to fuel ratio. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 52. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Never. Answer. Always. Question 53. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom, side to side, front to back. Answer Side to side. Question 54. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 55. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 56 the amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the legal weight limits, the amount the liquid will expand in transit, both of the above factors. Answer Both of the above factors. Question 57 Side to side surge can cause suspension system failure, overspeeding, a rollover. Answer A rollover. Question 58 Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 59. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. 
liquid movement. Question 60. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The length of your vehicle. The distance you can see ahead. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 61. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 62. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason s. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 63. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 64. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 65. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount the liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 66. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you can see ahead. The length of your vehicle. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 67. Altage means. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Liquid weight. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 68. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 69. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. 
liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 70. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Water content Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 71. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it, speed up slightly, downshift twice, brake lightly. Answer Speed up slightly. Question 72. Empty trucks May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 73. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 74. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 75 How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 76 Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion Liquid movement Extreme weight Answer Liquid movement Question 77 when you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 78 the best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it, speed up slightly, brake lightly, downshift twice. Answer 
Speed up slightly. Question 79. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 80 The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 81. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Baffles Bulkheads Barriers Answer Baffles Question 82. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 83 What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 84 Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 85. Side-to-side surge can cause. Suspension system failure. A rollover. Overspeeding. Answer. A rollover. Question 86. Altage means. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 87. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio. Distribution of weight. Water content. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 88. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. 
Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 89. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 90. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 91. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 92. Altage means. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 93. Side to side surge can cause a rollover, suspension system failure, overspeeding. Answer A rollover. Question 94. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 95. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 96. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 97. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 98 When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your air to fuel ratio. 
Distribution of weight. Water content. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 99. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 100. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. High center of gravity. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 101. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The distance you can see ahead. The length of your vehicle. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 102. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Answer. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Question 103. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use only the emergency brakes. Use control door stab braking. Answer. Use control door stab braking. Question 104. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 105. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 106. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 107. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 108. 
liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called barriers, baffles, bulkheads. Answer Bulkheads. Question 109. When you unload a smaller tank or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 110. Altage means How fast the liquid tanks drain Allowance for expansion of liquid Liquid weight Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 111. Empty trucks Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 112. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Always. Answer. Always. Question 113. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer there will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 114 Empty trucks Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 115 Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Bulkheads Baffles Barriers Answer Baffles Question 116 Altage means Allowance for expansion of liquid Liquid weight How fast the liquid tanks drain Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 117. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Side to side. Top to bottom. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 118. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. 
Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 119 An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 120 When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 121 Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 122. Empty trucks May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 123. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Top to bottom. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 124. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 125. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Baffles. Barriers. Bulkheads. Answer. Baffles. Question 126. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 127. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? 
Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 128. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the amount the liquid will expand in transit, the legal weight limits, both of the above factors. Answer Both of the above factors. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.